With all the news coming out of WWDC, I haven't had time to cover any apps recently. So let's cover 10. Here are my top 10 favorite productivity apps for iPad. First up is Workflow. Without this app, I wouldn't be able to do as much as I could on my iPad. Workflow is all about automation. Using X callback URLs, the Workflow app is able to talk to a bunch of different apps and string tasks together. I had a whole series planned around the Workflow app, but Apple acquired it while I was putting together the first video. Workflow's future is uncertain, but I'm confident that Apple purchased the app to bring the Workflow team in-house to work on automation for iOS. If the last WWDC is any evidence, Apple is doubling down on pro users. Also, a side effect of Apple buying the Workflow app is it's now free, so everyone can check it out, and I highly recommend you do. Next up is Editorial. This is a text editor. I write all my scripts in it. Editorial has support for documents to be written in Markdown, which anyone that's watched my previous videos knows I love. Editorial has support for built-in automated workflows using Python. And for those that aren't programmers, there's a database of pre-made workflows already. Editorial has support for the Workflow app to run editorial workflows, so it's workflows all the way down. Todoist is my task manager of choice. Without Todoist, I wouldn't be able to remember what I need from the store, let alone where I am in a project or what I need to do for this channel. Todoist is web-based, so it has support for all sorts of automation, including IFTTT and workflow. I have a lot of program tasks that I use when I start a new video project, and Todoist allows me to run a workflow that'll go through all of the steps and pre-program it. And when I need to get something from the store, I can use my Amazon Echo and tell Alexa that I need to add that to my shopping list. Even though it may not look like much, this app is really powerful, and I recommend everyone to check it out. Bear is the fourth app on my list. It's a note-taking application with a tons of customization. Bear supports Markdown, and in a recent update, they added the ability to do drawing and handwritten notes. For Apple Pencil users, this could be a well-organized sketchbook. Bear has a feature that I hope to see in Apple Notes one day, and that's the ability to pin a note to the top. Bear also supports the Workflow app and has a ton of options to go with it. Devon Think To Go is next up, and if you know what this app is, you're probably wondering why I'm bothering to cover it with Apple's Files app coming in iOS 11. Devon Think To Go is not just any file management app. It's heavily supported with automation using X callback URLs, so this means you can use it with apps like Workflow. There's so much you can do with this app. I use it to keep all my footage and project files in it and organized and synced up. Devon Think To Go uses Dropboxing so you can sync it between the app on multiple devices. For those that are waiting for Apple's Files app to come out or wanting something more advanced, I highly recommend you check out Devon Think To Go. Readle has a ton of great productivity apps on the App Store, but I want to cover PDF Expert. Here you can mark up and edit PDF documents using OCR. This is really handy when I've gotten PDF documents in the past that I need to fill in some information for. You can also create PDFs in it as well, which is really handy if you're somebody that needs to make a form or a document. The other nice thing is that PDF Expert has a reading view option. So if you receive long PDFs you need to read, this is for you. You can also tweak the settings and make it better suited for your reading needs. Trello is a Kanban organization system. Trello works great for teams that are working on a project close together that need to know where everything is in that project. I also use it for myself to remember where I am on projects, especially ones I haven't touched in a while. Trello supports both Workflow and IFTTT. Fantastical is my go-to calendar application. My iPad is primarily where I do most of the input for my calendar. I like Fantastical because it supports natural language, which makes it so much faster than any other input form. I built a workflow that runs from the widget view that'll ask me what my next calendar entry needs to be, so I can just fill it in using natural language and it'll sync to the rest of my devices. I've talked about Notability a lot. I use this app in combo with the Apple Pencil to mark up my scripts. Ever since I started doing this, I feel like I'm doing a much better job with my edits and has really helped my videos get better. If you create a new document in Notability, you can also change the paper type to line or graph paper for easy note taking. I also use Notability to display my script when I'm doing the recording, so I can highly recommend it for lots of different use cases. The last app I want to talk about is Coda by Panic. Coda is a text editor with syntax support for lots of different languages, including Swift. Though iOS development still needs to happen on a Mac, it is nice to be able to have an app on my iPad I can work a problem out on. Coda has built-in support for Terminal and MySQL editor. It also has support for local and remote file storage, including FTP, SFTP, WebDev, and Amazon S3. The app also has native SSH support. Coda has a wonderful design that is completely customizable to any coder's needs. 
These are my top 10 productivity apps for iPad. If there are any apps that you felt I left off this list, leave them in the comments below and I would love to check them out. And if you'd like to hear more about a specific app, let me know as well. All the apps are linked in the description below, so check them out. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos about iOS.